Hey, what's going on? So today we have got a new video for you today. We are going to be discussing the best bikes that you can use for stunt races. <clears throat> now, these are obviously the best bikes. Now, blatant obviously to start with is the Shotaro. Um, it's got good speed, can't really do a wheelie, but the handling is pretty good. You can go pretty much round a corner at full throttle, so you haven't got to worry about braking as much. Um, the personalization, we'll call it, because you can't really do much to bikes. Uh, obviously, you've got the primary and the secondary color. Primary is the base color. The secondary is the lights and the neon that lights up. Um, so you can get some pretty cool effects uh, with some of these. Um, with customization-wise, you can't actually do anything. Apart from remove the wheels, like the wheel cover parts, apart from that, you can't do much else. Handling on the racetrack, uh, it does do pretty well with tight turns as long as you brake. Um, it's one of them ones that turns harder while you're braking. Um, so just get the braking and the acceleration down and you will pretty much be unbeatable on this thing. Uh, like all of the car, well, all the bikes that we're going to be talking about, you can get a boost off of jumps if you land on your back wheel right if you land on your back wheel at the right angle it does give you a boost I don't know if it does anything but it makes the camera do some effect to make it look like you've just gotten a boost from it um, so this is very good at that um, next up we have got the other obvious the batty um, again, customization will start with not a lot. Liveries with the racing version, no liveries with the non racing version, obviously. Um, but for, I think, since the game's been out, this has been one of the top racing bikes there. It's been up there for the Xbox 360 and PS3 version, and it still is up there with the. Uh, next gen Xbox One, PS4 and the PC so will they ever release a bike pretty much like the Pariah will they ever release a bike that is better there are some of these um, bikes are better than the Batty because I've raced using all of these I know I've won at least five times with all of these and that will come at a shock with uh, the next one that we have lined up in store is actually the uh, <clears throat> the cliffhanger yeah this bike is actually pretty good it's it is fast when you've got it fully customized um, customization wise for appearance however this does have it's not got really anything, but it's got a nice little feature with the wheels where the stock wheels actually have like off-roading bumps on them because it's, it's more of an off-roader bike, but it looks very cool and it sounds amazing. You can put normal wheels on this to make it look like just a street bike, but I don't think it looks as good. I think the, the street wheels are a bit more plump. And they're, they're a bit more pushed out than the stock ones on this bike. But this is a, a pretty good classic motorcycle. Um, performance wise, it has a pretty wide turn. Um, but if you use the handbrake for a tight turn, you do get the, especially if you've got the turbo added, you get the turbo kicking in to get round them corners quickly. Um, wheelies, this thing is phenomenal at them. This is probably, from my experience, the best vehicle, the best bike that I have used for a wheelie because 
yeah, the Batty can do wheelies as well. But I feel like driving both of them off-road while doing wheelies, I feel like the Batty isn't as fast. This thing goes like a rocket when it's off-road doing a wheelie. If, you go, if you're just going in a straight line over hills and bumps, this thing, you can't stop it. It will just keep going until you crash into a tree because you're going too fast. But that is the cliffhanger, which is one of the ones that I was talking about of being... Really? This thing? Yeah, this thing is good at racing. I have won races in this thing. Next up, again, this I kind of found out more as an accident because I didn't actually have time because I had to go off and do something quick. I didn't have time to pick my vehicle for the race and I ended up using this. And I actually won against... Batty's, Shitaro's, Akuma's, I won. It wasn't like a fight, it was, I'm pretty sure there was like 10 people, maybe even 16, in this race. And I managed to win with it. Now, customization wise for this one, this has got much more. This is part of the, uh, the Bikers DLC. Any bike that has the Bikers DLC on it uh, is very good with... Uh, customizations so obviously you've got deliveries like every car nowadays you've got the exhausts you've got the fuel tank you've got the front mudguard you've got the engine parts there's a lot you can do with this and with the deliveries that you got on it you can get some pretty good ones at the mo the one I've got at the moment is kind of more of a I'm going to change it, but I only had it yellow because I don't really like my cars in the same garages having the same colour. I like having a bit of different uh, different colours in the in a garage, so that's more what that was for. But um, this is a bike that looks very nice with white wall tyres, to be honest. But um, again, like the cliffhanger, it is pretty wide turned. Um, it's not fast at accelerating, but it has got a pretty nice speed to it if you're going in a straight line. But it's not a one that I would recommend to race with. It's just one that I have used in the past and was a winner using it. Uh, but next up, uh, those are the only four that I've got as clips because I didn't have time to do any clips for any of the others. Um, but obviously we've got the, I'm going to destroy the name of this, I'm gonna just going to call it the Hakuchi, ha Hakuchi bike. It's going to be a shot in any, any way of it. But obviously the one on the right is the normal one which we had in Xbox 360. That's when that came along and it was good. It put up a competition with the Batty and the Akuma. And then next gen, we've got the Hakuchi Drag, which is exactly the same type of bike. It's just a drag racing version of it with a longer, it's basically longer. Uh, not very good with cornering, because you use it in one of the contact missions with the Diamond Casino and Resort. Uh, it's not that good with cornering, and I'm pretty sure... Uh, I'm pretty sure I fell off it quite easily. It doesn't take much to fall off the um, the drag one. But the normal one, lovely. Again, sounds amazing. Next, we've got the Akuma, which, again, was around Xbox 360 and PS3 times. Uh, this, along with the Batty... Right, one was good with one thing, one was good with the other. The Batty was good for straight line speeds because it had a higher top speed. The Akuma had a slightly better acceleration for the tight turned little courses. So if you were having a race with not very long but a lot of turns, normally the Akuma was better and for straight lines, Batty was better. Both great at wheelies but acceleration is better with the Akuma I think. Customizations I can't remember but I don't think you can do much on it. The carbon I think is stuck. Or I think you can switch them between carbon and coloured. So I'm not too sure. But 
acceleration bike that you want. And lastly, we have the BF400, I believe it's called, which has replaced the Sanchez as the fastest off-road bike. Now, I didn't know if to add this or not, because you can use it in motorcycle races. But you can also use it in off-road races, which the others you can't. So I wasn't too sure if to add this or not. But I'm going to say don't use it for um, stunt races, uh, for normal races anyway, because you, I don't think you're going to win in it. If you're using it with an off-road class race, use this. If you're going to use a bike, use this. I'll leave a link to another video I did of best cars to use. I think I named it vehicles, I'm not too sure. But best cars to use in stunt races. If you're using a bike, use this. If you're using a car for an off-road, use the trophy truck. Because both of these are, from my personal experience, the top two vehicles you can use. Obviously, you're always going to get the ones where they're going to use an insurgent or something just to crash into everyone else. But obviously, with a bike and in dirt races, you got to watch out for the people in the cars because they will try and run you down. So... But that's my list of personal personal opinions, my list of best vehicles to use, well, best bikes to use in stunt races and off-road races. But if there's any others that you like using, uh, leave them in the comments below, leaving a reason why as well, just so we can all kind of, you know, communicate one another to try and find the best vehicles. It doesn't even have to be the best vehicle for racing. Just name your best, the most favourite vehicle you like, be it racing or just cruising. My, I have two, is the Cliffhanger and the Nightblade, which is the yellow one. I forgot to name it. Yeah, the yellow one is called a Nightblade. Um, looks very good in matte black. But that is all I've got time for. I have got a fly in my room, so I'm going to try and get him out, because I don't really want fly guts all over my room. Um, but leave a comment in down below of what your favorite bike is, be it racing or cruising. Leave a like if you did, and please obviously subscribe if you enjoyed. And if you do enjoy, then please hit the notification bell to get notified of any other updates or videos that I will post. I also have a Facebook group, I will announce that now, um, of basically any games. It doesn't have to be GTA, it could be Forza. Call of Duty, Fortnite, whatever. But a group of screenshots, clips, photos, stuff like that. Basically just things like that you want to share. I'll leave a link into in the description as well. Come join that. Don't need to do any questions or invite. You just, you know, join and just, you know, post away. Post your photos clips, videos that you've got, if you've uploaded a video onto YouTube about something, then put that down there. Uh, at the moment, you don't have to have my permission to put it on, but if people start putting stupid stuff on that have no relevance to this, then I'm going to have to make it so I have to approve them. So, until that point comes along, get in there, post away, photos, clips, photo shoots, stuff like that, whatever it is. And I will see you next time. I'm probably going to be doing a normal life of race, normal life of a racer three, being the tr trust tyrant. I'm not sure what it is, but you'll see it when it comes along. So peace out and goodbye.